If you feel like the entire internet is trying to tell you that you should be using Notion and it's the best tool ever, then you are not alone. I feel the pressure too. In fact, I almost thought about like paying for a Notion like subscription, which I don't even know what you get like in the free versus the paid, and then signing up for the AI tool that was built in there because everyone made it sound so great. But I already know how to use AI tools. I use them all the time. I've never felt like something was missing from my workflow or I needed to use it inside of Notion, which I don't even know how to use anyway. So I'd have to either watch a super long, boring tutorial on how to use Notion or sign up for a course, neither of which are really on my goals list for 2025. And more importantly, if you just need something to take notes or just kind of keep things uh, digitally organized, then I think Notion is just overly complex and something that maybe, again, I guess if you need a database or you have a huge team that you need to coordinate with around the world, I guess you could use that. But for the rest of us, I'm going to say I have two better ideas for you. One is X-Tiles and I have a whole separate app on that and I will just link to that below so you know how to use that. And then also Apple Notes. So I realize if you don't have a Mac, this is probably an issue, but if you have an Apple, Notes is already free and it does syncing across all of your devices, your iPhone and your iPad, without you ever having to tell it to sync or pay anything extra for it to do so. So if we look at Notion, the reason too is like inside of here, I don't know if anyone remembers the days of Trello, I purposely left Trello because I also wasted a lot of time trying to customize it, make it pretty. Um, so over here, if you look at my Trello, uh, it is very pretty and I wasted time looking for the perfect photo. And then over here, trying to put all these different things in here. And honestly, you have to go inside to look at everything. And that's also, I think, a problem when things are nested inside. I don't have the time or the bandwidth. I'd rather just look at everything all at once. Over here in this notion, I have no idea who made this. I think I paid like $45 or something ridiculous for this thing that I guess I can go here and I can choose high and then I can go here and I can choose low. And so I guess this is a database. And then same thing as with Trello, here's like, I guess a test project she set up. It opens up into this new screen where now I have to look at, I don't even know what I'm looking at, home, community, and progress. So now I have a, another database I need to look at, which links to more things that I need to link into. So it's almost like those Russian nesting dolls where you just keep opening it and opening it, and there's another one and another one and another one. And at least those, like it's kind of binary, you know it's going to end. This, I have no idea where it's going to end. And like, there are so many different roads that can go so many different directions. I think this is more difficult to use and has more potential to just kind of get like law like details to get lost and not done. So let's talk about my beloved Apple Notes. So Apple Notes is way easier to use in my opinion. And over here, all you have to do, so if you wanna create a new folder, you can go here at the bottom left and you can say new folder. So I can say something awesome and I can say okay, or I can go here at the top and I can do file new folder and I can say something amazing. And now I have new folders. Um, if I want to go back to where I was, where I had notes, how to organize your folders, it's so easy. All you have to do is drag and drop them. So if I want to put Korean Proverbs into writing, I drag and drop it underneath and now it's underneath. If I want it to be a nested folder inside there, I drag and drop it on top of writing and now it's a nested folder inside of there. It's just that difficult, so that's easy. The next one is, what is a smart folder? So smart folders are really just like auto curated things. So if I go over here to the top and I say new smart folder, and I can say a smart folder by date, uh, or I could say, uh, let's say December, 2024. So everything that was created in December, so date created, and I can say, a specific range, and then I could go ahead and make that November, December 1st through, what did I say, December 31st, and then say okay. And now that's my smart folder. It would all automatically put things in there. Clearly I didn't create anything, so there's nothing in that smart folder, but I could. And then also inside of that smart folder, you can also do things by tags, date edited, shared, mentions, checklists, all of those different things. And it basically does a search for you automatically so you don't have to redo a search. 
Speaking of which, search is very easy. You just type in here what you wanna search. So I can say Korean, and I'll see that Korean proverb thing that I had open before. So let's talk about how to create a note. So whenever you're inside of any folder, if you say new note, you now have a new note. Same thing over here if I'm inside of writing and I do file, new note, I have a new note inside of there. So those are the two ways to create new notes. How to format text. So over here, you can, I put everything into this checklist, but I can take it out or I can make it into a table. Uh, same thing, I can highlight a word over here. I can right click it. I can go over to font. I can make it bold. I can take this one. I can right click, go over to font and make it italic. Uh, same thing with colors. If I go over here, I can hit that little icon and I can make this orange. Or if I hit, I believe if it's command T, command T. Yes, if I hit Command T, it'll bring up the fonts menu, and then I can change to any of the fonts that I have installed inside of my computer. Um, and over here, I can say, I wanna make that bicycle at 12 or whatever I wanna do. So that's how you change things. That's how you make a checklist. That's how you make a table, italic, all of those other things. Um, this menu up here, you can change to these predefined uh, sizes and do a strike through as well. So we could do go over here and do a strike through. Um, so that's kind of how you are able to change the text. So to add tax, tags, it's really easy. Anytime you're inside something, I can just say checklist. And now I have a tag. It's just like a hashtag. That's all you have to do. You're done. It's not a big deal. It doesn't matter where it is inside of there. It will show up when you do a search. So over here, how to share or how to search. I showed you how to search. How to share. It's just that easy. You hit that share button and you can airdrop it. You can do email. Uh, you can do text message. All of those things just like you did before. Um, how to add a link. Really easy. If you want to add a link, you just hit the link button and you add a link and you're done. Uh, same thing over here. If you want to add an image, you can attach a file. You can attach photos. You can take a photo if you're on your phone or your iPad or you can just drag and drop a photo. So if I have my photos over here, I can simply drag and drop this photo in here, and now the photo's here. So I just find Apple to be way more intuitive. I don't need a long PhD or MBA in how to use Apple Notes, and that's kind of how I think Notes should be. Um, X-Tiles, again, like I said, I have a whole separate tutorial over here. It works exactly the same way. It's drag and drop. So what would I use one for versus the other? I mostly use X tiles when I need something very visual. So as a graphic designer, I find this very useful. So over here, best fonts for witchy cozies. This is actually one of my uh, giveaways. Uh, so if you are interested in this, it's free. And so I have different covers in here as an example. So someone could see things at like at a glance. I have display fonts that I recommend. And also underneath here, here are links to all of these fonts, but links without actually seeing the image are kind of useless. So I have that in there as well. Um, same thing, you just drag and drop images into here and then they just automatically appear. So if I want to just drag and drop this image, this image is now inside of here. And if I wanted to, I could add text or a link at the bottom, just like the other one. So again, I have a whole different tutorial on how to use um, X tiles, but like I said, it's just like Apple Notes. It's very intuitive and easy to use. So look, you don't need some complex system like Notion where you're going to waste a ton of time just figuring out how to open it and search for things that quite honestly, you could just type in two seconds into Apple Notes or drag and drop an image into X tiles and you're done. So this is the year that tools work for you and you don't work for tools. So if you are looking for permission to use Apple Notes and make it your go-to tool, then this is it. I'm telling you, do not waste a single minute trying to learn Notion and make these crazy dashboards and then try to sell them and push them out. It's a waste of time. Most people don't want them. Most people don't like them. I think it's just a small subset of people who are pretending that they really like it and they think it's great. At least that's my opinion. So hopefully you can join me in the cool kids corner using Apple Notes and X tiles because that is saving me a ton of time and I bet you could use that extra time in your day as well. All right, I hope everyone's having a great, wonderful and productive day and I will talk to you later. Bye.